I just got in this wig for wash and set, and as you can see, it has a lot of matted knots. How are we gonna take care of this? Is I just got my brush from Shawnee Wigs. They sent me to try out, and I'm gonna let you know how it compares to my go-to Isotech brush that I normally use for detangling. I'm Kaya G, wig stylist, wig wearer, and wig expert, sharing with you my pro wig tips right here on this YouTube channel. Go ahead, subscribe, like the video. Everything that I'm using is linked in the description, so go check it out. The first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use my Paul Mitchell Detangler Taming Spray. This is my go-to, especially when it comes to serious knots like we have here. In addition, after detangling the wig, I do recommend to do an intense deep conditioning treatment because once it's gotten to this point, you wanna restore the moisture to the hair. Now, I'm gonna spray this up and then I'm going to use a flat surface to start detangling it very gently and carefully. Now you'll see I'm spraying liberally in all the areas where I'm seeing that excessive clumping to get it nice and so saturated. Now putting the shiny wig brush to the test. The first thing that I will tell you is whenever you're detangling a wig, you always wanna make sure to be working from the bottom, working your way up. Let's move over to a flat surface where we're able to control the amount of pressure that we're putting on the areas of the knots a little bit better. Another great thing about this brush is that because you have this flat surface and no pillow cushion here in the middle, you can really clean it very, very easily, which is nice. Now back to the brushing. You'll see it really is gliding through the hair very nicely. Um, it's giving me a good range of motion to lessen the pressure instead of just breaking the hair. I mean, you see, I don't really have that much hair accumulated in the brush yet, which is a great sign. Now, after all this brushing, you see, I still have some knotting in this section here that I'm gonna to continue to work at, but really no hair has been lost in the brush. And we're back. It took me about 10 minutes to detangle this wig entirely. And I have to say that this is not the standard type of wig that I get in for a wash and set to detangle. This really had, as opposed to just having some heavier knotting in this nape section of the wig, it really had knotting on every single level that I had to go in and uh, loosen. Now, with that said, I wanna show you, cleaning out this shiny brush, you can see it did lose a little bit of hair, but this amount is minuscule compared to the condition that this came in and how much hair it could have potentially lost just trying to detangle all these very heavily matted knots. Now, when I'm comparing the two brushes, I really do like, I think this had a perfect balance of tension, of the structure and the hardness of the brush itself and not being so flexible, gave me the ability to control where I was opening the knots from and made it much easier to detangle. Whereas when I have this brush that has that soft cushiony and gives more give, then it, you're not able to control the opening of the knots in the same type of way, although it is a good detangler as well, just not necessarily the same level as a shiny brush. With that said, when it comes to washing a wig, where I do gently incorporate the shampoo or even the conditioner into the ends of the wig, I would feel more comfortable still going with something that has a little bit of give, because especially when you're dealing with more closer to the root and the tops of the wigs, I feel like this might be a little bit too tough. So I would stick with something a little bit more softer and with more give to it when I'm brushing through the tops of the wigs. But all in all, I have to say that I am impressed with this. I did enjoy using it and I will continue to do so. Hi G, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out my other videos on exactly how to detangle your wigs on a daily basis or when you have more intense tangles and knots. The best way to stay ahead of these tangles is to make sure not to let them accumulate. Thanks for watching my review of the Shawnee wig brush. Let me know if you've tried it. Comment below, send me a message. Looking forward to hearing from you.